Today we're going to find out why you need a realtor while you're in probate. Let's do it. David Klein Levitt, broker owner, next home, first choice, hopefully your choice of realty. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time we send you a video because they're fantastic. You'll learn all about real estate to make real estate easy. And we also send you about the great attractions and what makes Costa Mesa, Newport area so amazing and a great place to live and a great place to sell. So let's get to it. The seven reasons you want a realtor. Okay, reason number one, you're in helping with a probate. What is a probate? Probate is when someone you love passed away and you gotta handle their estate and they didn't ha get it all taken care of before they passed away and who really wants to do that stuff? And now you're cleaning up all that mess and you need a friend and a friend could be a realtor and you also need grief support i'm leaving that at number one besides being a real estate broker for the last 40 years for the last 20 i've also been a spiritual counselor so i can help you out so reason number one you need a friend you need some grief support reason number two time and money Mostly your time and your money. With a realtor, they can take care of a lot of the details. There's so many details, you need as much help as possible to take care of the details so they can save your time. For instance, a locksmith, for instance, all the marketing, all the selling of the property, a lawn care, a cleaning up the property, getting rid of personal prop, getting rid of the personal items. It's on and on and on and a realtor Somebody like me can help you with that, all right? And also with stress. So reason number two, you want somebody to handle as many details to take them away from you. You can make uh, more money because you're gonna get it sold and I'm gonna go into it a little bit more on the next one, on really about that and the stress that you can avoid because you wanna avoid as much stress as possible. When you're handling the estate, uh, probably your mother, father, grandmother, grandmother, it's something you really want. So number two, time, money, and stress. Okay. Reason number three, and this could be the biggest one, to avoid sharks. What I'm talking about is people are gonna wanna buy your property and they're gonna wanna buy it for pennies on the dollar. And when they see a probate, they see money. And that's what I call sharks. So you're gonna have people coming by, trying to buy the estate that you're handling, your mother, father's, your grandmother, your grandfather's home as cheap as possible. And you got so much going on, it's gonna sound good. As is, cash, and you could lose thousands and thousands. And I wanna help you avoid that. So reason number three is to avoid the sharks. Number four, there is so much that you need to know so much to figure out and I have information for you. I, I've got charts for you, um, the information, the timeline for the probates, pro, probates all, all of the duties of the personal representative. So you'll have information, all right? You'll know all the duties. I even have a website. I am even completing a book on the probate process just for, for you a personal representative. So you want basically information and that's number four. Number five, and this goes back, they're all somewhat related, is time, stress, and money. If you do, which I recommend to do a little bit of fix up, you're gonna do some maintaining, you've gotta get their home ready to sell, or get rid of, you're gonna have to get rid of the personal property. I can handle, and it's two separate things. One is maintenance. You know, you gotta maintain the property, even if you were to sell it to a shark. And also, fix up. So if you wanna do a little bit of fix up before you sell, so you can sell it for more money, and faster and easier. So have somebody to assist you with the maintenance and the fix up. That's number five, or number five A and number five B. Okay, and number six is legal paperwork. 
you could get a regular Realtor, but hey, guess what? There are actually different types of paperwork for the listing and for the purchase agreement in a probate. Actually, there's probate forms. And so you'll want somebody that's familiar with these forms, somebody like me, right? And so that's number six is the legal real estate paperwork, right? And lastly, and I'm happy to help you with it, maybe you don't want to sell. Maybe you want to keep it as an investment and rent it out. Well, I am pretty darn good at leasing property. I've done quite a few, can help you with that, get you a good solid tenant or leasee that'll may help you maintain the property. It's still going up in value so that you can keep it as part of the portfolio for the estate. So those are the seven reasons you'd want to have a realtor while you're in probate. You want friend for grief support. You want to save time, money, and stress. You want to avoid those sharks. Number three, number four, you want information, which I've got plenty of five, somebody to maintain and fix up the property. Number six, legal paperwork. And number seven, to rent it out if that's what you choose. Thanks for, for staying on, but wait, there is more. So click on the link there, right there, and you're gonna find out all about the process of probate. So you know more about probate.